This is the auto drill series 2000 unit that we set up for you with a uh, very fast forward and reverse stroke option. As you can see here, we have uh, flow controls on the dump valves, both forward and reverse stroke. This is to protect the drill from actually stroking too quickly, um, and for lack of a better way of saying it, tearing itself apart. So uh, we would suggest not changing those except uh, very slightly to allow for a slower or faster controlled stroke. If the unit actually strokes too quickly forward and back, it may, uh, may actually pull the threads out of some of the bolts holding it onto a fixture or uh, even the tie rods holding the cylinder together because you have the weight of a multiple spindle head on the front. We've put on here just a demonstration uh, multiple spindle head for you. I think this is your head, but with drill bits in it. Uh, we are now going to stroke this unit just to show you the approximate speed at, I believe, 40 PSI. Uh, what we're going to do is suggest that you do not run this at very high PSI. Um, I don't think you need the thrust, but if you do need to run a high PSI, you will adjust these two flow controls to make sure that the drill is not banging forward and back. Here's the approximate stroke speed that we've set it up for at this time. You could see that the stock unit running next to it was running close to the same speed on the forward stroke um, and slower, of course, on the reverse stroke. That is not going to be the case once the motor is installed because there will be uh, a force pulling on the spindle and uh, more resistance in that unit. The unit that you have is actually set up to run quite quickly. Please give Auto Drill a call with any questions that you may have at area code 908 542 02 Four, four. We'd love to work through any details that you may have and hope that you have a wonderful experience with our unit.